Yo, what's up everyone? Kiros here, and today we're going to review every light cone that's good for every four-star character, or at least in my opinion. I get a lot of questions. They're like, hey, do a deep dive of every single character. Those are coming, but this is going to take a little bit longer because we have to do gear. We have to talk about progression. We have to talk about team builds. I think we're just going to talk about light cones on this one. If you guys can, hit that like and subscribe. I should have the chapters down below for every four-star character, and let's get started. Quickly as a TLDR, I know a lot of the five stars are best in slot, but the one thing you need to take into account is that sometimes a super fully superimposed three star is better than a four star, and sometimes a fully superimposed four star is better than a five star. Now you'll always get better stats at the higher tier, the base stats, but always take that into account that actually a three star or four star might be better. And this video is going to be kind of weighted more towards three star, four stars anyways because I like free to play and, and we're all, you know, it's going to be hopium to get most of these, right? All right, why don't we do these in alphabetical order? First one we're going to start with is Arlen. Now, Arlen is destruction. So if we go over to his light cones, we can go sort by uh, destruction. Now, he's got some great, great light cones. If I was to put these in complete order, the first one at the top of the list would be on the fall of Eon. Now, the best part is you can actually get this for free through the Herda shop and this is actually one of the better ones to get through her to shop as well but the hunt one is pretty good as well it depends on it depends on if you're actually building arlen or if you have other characters that are destruction just be careful about that but this is a great great artifact for increasing damage uh, and then increasing more damage on top of that when you inflict break weakness now another one that i really like as well is i don't really want to talk about five stars all the time is obviously something irreplaceable now you can get this one from the shop as well over time after summoning with the 600 currency from the actual shop if we were to go to the shop real quick and i'm the only this is the only time i'm going to go back to the shop is mainly because there's a lot of five star relics here and i, I just want to put this out there is that even though almost every character's like is best in slot like brian is good for brian welt is good for welt everything like that the two that stand out the most for me are actually brian's and actually uh by loose uh, because they're going to work on a lot of different characters and i would just highly suggest that once you get the 600 if you're saving for that don't be buying this think about those anyways let's get back to arlen okay so the four store i actually like on arlen is actually nowhere to run now you can put the other one on them too but increases the wearer's attack by 24 percent at max level it's 48 percent and then whenever you defeat an enemy restores hp by 24 percent this is actually really good because arlen sacrifices his own hp now you can put the other one in there, but I find that just to be a little, uh, a little dicey secret vow because he just won't always work. And especially if you're going up against bosses, you rather have something that's a little bit more stable and a little bit more keeping you alive. For three stars, especially at max level, which is really good, five superimposed, which you'll get really easy, increases the wearer's basic attack and skill damage by 40%. And since he doesn't use any skill points, he's going to be skilling all the time. Next up, we do have Asta. And if you haven't seen my best four stars in the game, uh, when Asta's good, Asta's amazing. I love Asta to death. She's one of the best characters, in my opinion. But you're just not going to use her all the time because she's super situational. All right, talking about Asta. Now, honestly, I don't like any five-star on her, even though there's only one. You could use uh, Branyas if you have Branyas. But I find it to be a little dicey unless you can speed tune your entire team because the next ally taking an attack deals 30% more damage. Doesn't always work that well on her. But the two that I like to run, now you could run Dance Dance Dance. I'm not going to talk about that because I actually don't like it. I like Memories of the Past. This one's amazing. Increases the wearer's break effect by 56%. And you're going to mainly build her as speed and break effect anyways. And then gives you more energy when you attack. This is great. A double whammy. Absolutely amazing. She's one of the best breakers for fire in the game on bosses. If I was to pick a three star, it would be Meshing Cogs. Now, it's whenever the, the wearer attacks or gets hit, get additional energy. You want to get as much energy as possible on her because you want to be able to alt as much as possible. You want to spam through those alts as much as possible to benefit your team. Next up, we got Don Hung, and he's got a ton of light cones that are amazing on him. All right, don't judge me here, but essentially, he wants five-star light cones. This is why he's kind of hard to build and kind of like why I like Xu Shang better, even though Don Hung could do more damage overall. Um, into the night by Zila's art, uh, light cone is absolutely amazing, but that requires you to pull on a limited, very hard to get, especially if you're free to play, probably not going to happen. Now, one you can get for free through the shop is sleep like the dead. I don't like this one either because it requires you to pull away from that Bailu artifact and some of those art or light, light cones that are a little bit better 
But this one can be stacked really well. What you do is you skill. And if you don't crit, you go right into an alt. But you're going to want to alt anyway. So it's a little situational in my opinion. I do really like it. The crit damage on top of that. But if I was to pick one, this is the one you can get out of Herda Shop. Is uh, Cruising the Stellar Sea. Now, I really like this one a lot because mainly you can get it for free. And it's probably the best one out of Herda Shop. Unless you are Destruction Main with Clara and a few others, right? If I was to pick a four-star light cone that i really like it's actually only silence remains and the reason why i like it is because i like anything you can control i don't like chance i like things that just be static i can control it i can control the damage and it just increases damage and since he's essentially a boss killer as soon as there's two or fewer enemies on the field which a lot of times there'll only be the singular boss you're gonna get increased crit rate it's gonna make him hit a lot harder really really enjoy that now, I see a lot of people actually pick arrows on them. I actually really hate this one because it only works for three turns. And if you go into a boss fight that has like 12 turns, absolutely terrible. I know you can switch it out, but no one likes to do that, right? Um, Darting Arrow is the one I would go with because you can control it, right? You have it, uh, say a boss spawns a lot of little minions. You take down a minion, you're going to get that increased attack. You can ultimate, take down another minion or do it on the boss. It's going to be a great amount of attack increase. I like anything you can control. Those are the ones I would do right there. All right, next up we have Herda, and Herda's not a character I suggest you really level. If you're going to level someone that's ice, it would be Pela. I know I'm giving you a bunch of tips that you probably are not asking on this video. You're like, just give me the light cones already. All right, it is what it is. Now, I would not pick any five-star light cone on her, but if I was to pick one, it would probably be uh, Jing Yuan's. Uh, but if you're getting Jing Yuan's, I'm assuming you're getting Jing Yuan, and you should put it on Jing Yuan. Uh, so kind of a waste of a... A light cone in my opinion now the one i there's two four star light cones that are actually good on her which is the birth of self i really like this one because she does get follow-up attacks and it does do more damage so you could build her really slow where she just gets a lot of follow-up attacks there's one way to do that or i actually like uh make the world glamour mainly because you get some of these for free and getting immediate energy is kind of nice and increasing alt damage is really nice if i was to pick a three star it'd be saga city now, the reason I do this is after you use your ultimate, you can increase attack. Anything you can control, and especially if you're building your slow, where you can do a hard-hitting ultimate and then have increased attack on those follow-up attacks and some skill attacks, it's actually really, really nice. I enjoy this one a lot. All right, that brings us to Hook, another character that I don't really suggest you level right now. Kind of needs a buff, in my opinion, but it is what it is. Now, Hook is Destruction. Great light cones for Hook are going to be the same kind of across the board. First, we're going to start on the Fall of Aeon, mainly because you can get that one for free. So if you are a Destruction main, meaning you have Clara and the Hook, I don't know why you would run both of those together anyways, but maybe you have it and you can switch the you can switch the light cone between them. This would actually be a really good one to put on a Hook. I'm not going to suggest the something irreplaceable, but you can use it once again, but not one I would buy from the shop over a lot of other ones. But the four star you really want to be rocking is Woof. Woof, 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 woof. Increases the wearer's attack by 20%. Increases their damage to enemies inflicted with burn or bleed by 32%. This also applies to the dot. So this is actually one that can kind of fix her kit and kind of put her on par but in my opinion, you need to have a decent amount of superimposed of this four star to kind of get that online. If I was to pick a three star, it's usually Collapsing Sky for destruction. Uh, none of the other three stars really tickle my fancy in all honesty. I don't like anything that's situational and I don't like anything that's situational. So something that's static across the board where you just in get increased 40% totally great hey well i got you why don't i hit you with a big tip so you'll see that there's a lot of three stars and four stars i'm actually avoiding and i do think you should superimpose one copy to five every single time but this is actually a really good thing that not every light cone is needed because you can then use them for resources to level up your other light cones so i actually really like the way they did this so just because we're not using shattering home and mutual demise you can use those to go level the other ones that are actually good all right, this finally brings us to March 7th, and she's probably the most awkward to build, and mainly because you're only going to use her in very si weird situations, whether you build her tank and she's your tank of the party, or you're building with Clara in order to abuse that uh, taunt mechanic. Now, if we go over to her, if we go, ooh, wrong spot. If we go over to the light cones for her, she doesn't really have the best light cones, in my opinion. None of the five-star light cones really entice me here. 
Um, unless you're casting the shield on herself in order to try and be a tank, which then you can use any of these and these would work out for you. But I think it's kind of a waste in my opinion. So if you are using March 7th, I think the one that you go with is day one of my new life. Increases the wearer's defense by 16%. And then upon entering battle, increases damage resistance of all allies by, let's say, 12%. So bringing a static buff to your team is going to be really good. And you're really going to bring her for Clara, right? So being able to buff Clara some more with more damage resistance is going to make that really, really good. Now, you can use We Are Wildfire, but once again, I'm not the biggest fan of this one, especially when you get the boss fights. So you can swap it in and out depending on what you're doing. If you really want to get mid maxi with it, uh, it decreases uh, damage to all allies by 16% and then restores some HP. But the problem is that it only works for five turns and then it's effectively gone. So I'm not the biggest fan of that one. And if I was to run a three star on her, it would be honestly defense when the wearer unleashes their ultimate they restore hp by 30 percent of their max hp all right that brings us to natasha probably the one character that's almost in every single party i kid you not like i it's very rare i see a party that doesn't have natasha unless you have bailu obviously right but if we go to abundance here oops i'm once again in the wrong spot if we go to the light cones of abundance she has a lot she can work with here and there's a lot I actually really enjoy on here. Now, the one that does come to mind, and this is one that you may want to think about getting because you're always going to have some sort of a healer, typically, is honestly the five star you can get for free from the shop over time when you get those uh, currency. Increases the wearer's max HP by 18% and increases their outgoing healing by 12%. When the wearer heals uh, allies, record the amount of healing, and then you can do a random attacked enemy takes an additional damage by 36% of the recorded outgoing healing. This is just great. This is just one of the best uh, light cones, in my opinion, in the game, because you're typically only, you know, using your Q and then, you know, sometimes scaling and then alting on uh, your healers. Now, if I was to pick a four star, I'm I'm caught up between, but we'd probably go quid pro quo. And the best part is you can get this for, you can earn this through uh, memory of chaos or in any of those events over there with the shards uh at the start of the wearer's turn regenerate 16 energy for a randomly chosen ally excluding the wearer whose current energy is lower than 50 percent so you want to make sure you are spamming those ultimates and you do want to build your uh, healer to be as quick as possible to be able to abuse that and this could help you out in a very good situation now if you have a very slow healer i would actually do post-op conversion which is just going to increase your healing output, which is always, always great. If I was to pick a three star, it would be Cornucopia, which just increases your skill and ultimate outgoing healing. Perfect. Things we can control. Absolutely great. I wouldn't do any of these other ones. Not really my biggest fan, but those are the ones I would go for on it. Next up on the list, we do have Pela. Now, Pela is a great character, but not so much in the beginning but she was used a lot in the end game, mainly for some of her debuffs, defense breaking and stuff like that. She became a very good sub DPS. All right, so talking about her light cones, I actually like Walt's light cone on her, increases the damage of debuffed enemies. You're gonna be debuffing them. So this increases her damage, increases her effect hit rate on her skill, and just overall is a great, great uh, light cone to have. Once again, probably not the light cone I would choose for free, but if you do pick it up from your standard banner, you just know that you do have it on the character that does work. Now, for a four star, I actually really like Resolution Shines uh, as Perils of of Sweat. Why are these Why are these names so long? They're, we're just gonna call this one Resolution. Uh, when the wearer hits an enemy, and the, if the hit enemy is not already ensnared, then it has a sixty percent base chance, or up to a hundred percent base chance to ensnare an enemy and uh, do defense down. This is great because what you're doing the bringer is for sub DPS and to do defense down anyways to make your primary dps or aoe dps do as much as humanly possible now i really don't like void i really don't like loop if i was to use a three star it would be hidden shadow because these are things we can control just for more more damage after using a skill increases the basic attack yada 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 the other ones are just too rng for my liking all right that brings us to ching chu i probably mispronouncing that i'm so sorry but this is a character you get for free all right so i'm not a big fan of this character and i'm not a big fan of any of the five star light cones on her either if i was the builder if you forced me the builder it would be make the world clamor just so she starts with a little bit more energy and she does a little she does more alt damage considering you're going to want to stack those tiles you're going to want to stack that damage boost and just try and hit as hard as you can on your ultimate if i was to pick a three star it would be saga city once again for ultimate damage 
but uh, once again not the not my favorite character in the world probably needs to be altered or maybe she doesn't i don't know Ooh, that brings us to sampo koski honestly he's actually a really fun character to play and surprisingly a pretty good character mainly because he has a lot of dot damage and he has a lot of aoe which is actually a lot of fun now a character i don't have right now but if i was to build them once again i would use welts light cone if you do have it because enemies are always going to be debuffed so you're going to get that increased attack you're going to get that increased hit rate and you're going to want that hit rate anyways because you're going to want to debuff as much as humanly possible and then what i would probably do from there is eyes of the prey now this increases the wearer's effect hit rate by 40 percent increases dot damage by 48 percent a lot of the damage for sampo shampo sampo shampo shampo kashki anyways just making fun with his name um really comes from his dot damage so that's the way i would do that and once again i would probably do hidden shadow because we just like uh we like static damage all right we have two characters less left to go and they're honestly two of the best characters for four stars let's talk about the shu shang one of my favorite characters have you seen any of my streams absolutely amazing so let's go over to the light cones now the light cones i like to use for shu shang she actually works for every single one you could do in the night which is once again an extremely pay the win one does work really well i don't typically build her with speed but you can build her with speed and she does get natural speed on top of that um you can do sleep like the dead this one also uh a very good one for her as well i personally like uh this one where you can get for free right so free to play this is one you can get this is actually a really really good one that you can get for her uh just from the shop from her to the shop but the one i actually really like now i'm actually rocking river flows in spring because i have not gotten the one i like which is only silence remains once again i like things that i can control increases the wearer's attack by 32 percent if there's two or fewer enemies in the field increases the wearer's crit rate by 24 percent this is huge and considering you're bringing her to essentially be a single target dps i mean she doesn't have aoe anyways you want her to hit as hard as humanly possible and i like things that are just static now if i'm rocking a three star on her it'll be darting arrow once again things that we can control after we defeat an enemy which with her wombo combo you should be able to defeat an enemy pretty quickly now the boss right away but you'll get that increased attack speed in, or the attack and uh that's a really good three star for her uh especially for uh being able to dps now finally that brings us to our last character ting yun which is one of my favorite characters in the whole game she does kind of have the same spot as Branya, but we'll talk about Branya in another uh, video. Now, she's pretty easy to build, just like uh, just like the rest of them. Harmony light cones are pretty standard across the board. Uh, you can run the Branya's uh, Harmony one on her, and this one is especially really good. You do have to speed tune once again. Um, you know, this is really catered for Branya because you can force the next ally's uh, turn. So if you speed tune properly, you could get away with this one. All right, for Ting Yu, we're actually going to use a different four star than uh, I used on some previous characters. Now, the four star I really like to run is Carve the Moon, Weave the Clouds. I don't have it yet. I'm really hoping I get it soon. But the start of battle, or whenever you take a turn, you can apply a random buff to your whole team, whether that be attack increase, crit damage increase, or energy rate increase. These are all great across the board. It actually almost doesn't even matter which one it lands on it'll be great for someone on your team i absolutely love this one this is the one to go after in my opinion and if i was if i was rocking another one it would be honestly a to toss up for three star would be meshing cogs to get more energy uh whenever you use attacks or you get hit but ideally you're not getting hit the three star i would honestly use is harmony here of course sorry chorus for this one entering battle increases attack of all allies for 12 percent. that just stays the whole time something you can control absolutely amazing all right that video was a little long-winded but uh i'll hit the chapters down below or i should have said that at the beginning of the video but if you guys are still here hit that like and subscribe again hopefully this helped clear it up i do appreciate you i'll see you out there in the live streams and fist bump from me to you